Are you a frustrated Windows Evernote user? Well, I sure have been. But today, I tried something. I imported notes from Evernote into OneNote, and I want to show you how to do it here today. This is Chris here, the owner of LiptoDev, and today I want to do something a little different maybe a little helpful for you. I've been an Evernote user, I don't know, seven years now at least. And the reason why I started using Evernote is because, well, the OneNote experience stunk. Um, be blunt. But, be quite honest, the Evernote experience for the last four or five months has stunk. And I've played a little bit with OneNote and it feels like they've actually got their act together and it's usable again. So I was talking to my friend Mahesh, and he's like, oh, dude, man, you should just import all your stuff from Evernote into OneNote. And uh, he said, hey, why don't you even make a video? So here I am. I'm making a video. I haven't even tried this yet. This may break. This may be a disaster. Uh, we'll see. But, um, you know, I've got thousands upon thousands of documents in Evernote. And honestly, I've been, I write my blogs, my books, and all other kind of stuff in Evernote. And honestly, one of the complaints I do have about Evernote is I can't make Dragon work with it, so I can't dictate to Evernote on the desktop. I can do it on my phone, which is fine. And honestly, the Evernote on my phone seems to work just fine. Uh, it's just here on the desktop, it's just terrible uh, for the last few months. Um, you open up a new uh, note, and you have to wait a few seconds before you can even type the title, and then you're lucky if you can get all the word, all the characters typed in the title before it hangs, and then it finally just echoes out the rest. You have to wait another minute or two before you can even start typing in the body, etc. So this is just really frustrating with for me right now in Evernote. And um, to be quite honest, I've actually rebuilt my machine three times since September, and uh, this has not gotten better with Evernote. So I don't, I think they've got some bugs that have shipped to the Windows desktop experience. So let's just, I'm going to try this. So the first thing you got to do, I just actually looked up. Um, uh, import Evernote to OneNote and got this nice OneNote page. So we'll download the importer. Let's just run and see what happens here. This is literally the experience, real time, folks. All right, so as I expect, you have to go through basically a nice little wizard. And wow, I already picked up all the stuff. There are things I'm not really that interested in. And mostly what I wanna do is, wow, it's got all these notebooks. Let's just, uh, I've got a lot of notebooks because I try to organize a lot of stuff into ideas. Here's the one I really want. I want this one. And let's do that one. There we go. There we go. Okay. So we'll do next. Let's see what happens here. Oh, dear God. This is, this is one of the things Microsoft definitely has to fix is their login experience. It sucks. Oh, it just signed me right in. That's good. Hey, this actually works. It's one of the few things. Yeah, I want my tags to go with it because that's a big part of it. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. And uh, here we go. Now, this is basically bringing in everything from my blog. Now, I've got, believe it or not, i got 562 notes in my blog to-do list. I know it sounds crazy, but it's probably been building up five or six years straight. Um things that never got published, just ideas I had quickly that never materialized. And then it's also got all of the notes that I have actually published. Now it's saying 887. And honestly, that's probably close to right, I would think. Because obviously I didn't, I didn't write blog post in Evernote to begin with because Evernote didn't exist when I started blogging. I think I started doing that sometime around 2011, 2012, maybe. So... I'm going to keep recording, but I know this is going to be boring to watch this. So when this is done, we'll be able to kick back in and I'll just uh, seamlessly zap forward here. And we're back. And we have imported our OneNotes, our Evernotes into OneNote. And it uh, looks like we're ready to go. So I've got a nice little button here that says View Notes in OneNote. So we'll do that, see what happens. 
if anything. There we go. Try to click it again. All right, this may be the one place it falls apart on me. Let's go see what we do. Let's just start it up manual like here. There we go. Da, da, da. So while we were waiting, I actually checked on my phone. I had not even installed OneNote on my phone. I got my new Pixel 2 in uh, I don't know, early October when it came out. But I haven't put OneNote on there because I just don't use it enough. And I started kind of seeing how things were going with the import process on it. And it was great. And I loved the way it was organized on my Android. I'll uh, see if I can take a video for that some other time. But here we've got Love to Dev blog. Let's see what's going on in there. We've got blog post. And that's not what we want. Huh. So this actually seemed to work better on my phone that it is here. Wow, these are like notes I took a long time ago. Interesting. So this is unfortunate to see that uh, my new posts are not here. Yeah. These are some things I kind of started playing with the other day. That's all it is. Huh. Well, that's very unfortunate. They're not here. Well, I can vouch for them being on my phone and being there. I don't know why I can't see them here. That's that's. Oh, here we go. It was kind of hidden. Perfect. Okay, now at least I found it, maybe. Or not. Nope, not finding it. These are... Let's just try this and see what happens. I feel that's not what I'm looking for. Nope, not what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, these are all old. And this is from pre-Evernote days right here. This is kind of unfortunate. That's the right account. And... Well, sorry folks. Sorry this kind of flopped a little bit here. Looks like I'm not going to be able to use it on the desktop, at least for now. It's not synchronizing, but it is on my phone, which is nice. And maybe I'll start using a little more on my phone. Um, you can see that's 2011. That's kind of when I decided to switch because I was getting frustrated with things. Um, 2010. Yeah, this is fascinating. Okay. Um, bummer. I should see something that actually is what I'm looking for, but I'm not seeing it. So we've got recent notes. Uh, yep, these are, it's just not syncing up the stuff that I just synced up. So, that, oh well. Maybe it'll sync up later, who knows. But it did work on the, uh, on the phone. I can vouch for that one. So... Yeah, that's old. Oh well. Sorry guys. Okay, so I decided that maybe it was the UWP version of OneNote that is broken and like every other UWP app, it's broken. So I decided to open up the uh, OneNote 2016, which is not the UWP app. And this one seems to be working correctly. Uh, I still could not get the uh, uh, view in OneNote button on the uh, importer tool to actually launch anything. No clue why. So I guess maybe they need to fix that. But I did go to my 2016 version of OneNote, and bam, here are all the notes. And it's even got a little message on uh, how they were imported and everything. Now, I've got tags that you saw me um, that's going to have the different notes in there. So they actually organize those into tabs for me, which is excellent. Uh, so you can see kind of how I've got these things done. Now, when I say blog, these are actually blog posts that I've either started working on or just quick ideas that I had. And uh, you can see i got quite a few of them here. Uh-huh. 
Let's see, what do I have under spas? Not that I'm even doing the single page app thing anymore. Um, yeah, I wonder if I should post that. That's a lot of code there, a lot of article. I wonder if I did. Anyway, it's outdated anyway. So, but that's that. And then we've got the posted blog, which are articles that have been uh, posted, at least in theory. Yeah. Yep. These are all posted blogs that I've actually tagged. I wonder if they're how to find the ones I haven't tagged. Um, if they're there, let's see. Anyway, but you can see they're all there, uh, ready for viewing and editing and updating as needed. There we go. That's more progressive web app stuff. So anyway, uh, I did, it does work and I did prove it. I just can't get the uh, UWP app to work, which doesn't surprise me because uh, pretty much every UWP app stinks. So, alrighty. Hopefully this is helpful for you. And if you've, uh, you've you know, used Evernote and you're interested in OneNote, this is a great way just to suck all the Evernote notes in. I just did uh, the ones related to my blog. It probably took about 15 minutes to actually sync it over. I had close to 900 articles it was syncing, uh, just to give you an idea of uh, how long things took. So, 